Hello. In this learning dialogue, we are going to give focus on the WordPress editors, WordPress comments, and the media library. Let us begin with the WordPress editors. When creating a post or page on WordPress, we have two editing modes available for us. Number one, visual editor. And number two, HTML editor. The visual editor is the default mode for WordPress blogs and it provides a semi what you see is what you get content editor that allows us to easily create, edit, and format content in a view similar to that of a word processor. Whereas, the HTML editor allows us to write posts in HTML or edit a post's HTML. When we need to add a short code, add some font style, or paste a code from an outside source, we can use the HTML editor. Note, the HTML code you add must be well formed and it must be listed in the allowed HTML tags list. The buttons at the top of the text editor make it easy for you to quickly insert most common HTML tags. You should also be aware that WordPress.com has some code restrictions, so JavaScript, embeds, and custom forms are not allowed for security reasons. Now, we can think of switching editors and resizing the editor. To switch between the visual and HTML editing modes is easy. Use the tabs at the upper right corner of the post editing area. Whereas, the text editor intelligently resizes to fit the content of our post. Next thing that we are going to see is, the WordPress comments. Comments are a way for visitors to add feedback to your posts and pages. If we choose to enable comments for our posts, then a comment form will appear at the bottom of the posts and people can respond to what we have written. To leave a comment, we need to be on the individual post page. We can't leave comments on a blog's home page. It is not possible to edit or delete any comments you have left on other WordPress blogs. Blog owners are in complete control of the comments left on their blog. Users on the blog who have editor or administrator rights will have the ability to manage comments. There are some noteworthy comment features at WordPress.com such as 1. Comment threading 2. Comment reply by email 3. Following comments by email and 4. Changing the prompt We are going to explore these features in upcoming learning dialogue. Before that, let us see some insights about the media library. Media is a tab in WordPress admin sidebar which is used to manage user uploads like images, audio, video, and other files. Under the media menu, there are two screens. The first screen library lists all the files in the media library. These files can be edited and deleted from the library. The second screen is add new, which allows users to upload files. Remember, users can also upload media while writing a post or page. However, the Add New link allows users to upload files without attaching them to a specific post or page. The biggest complaint about the media library in WordPress is that it is not organized. All media files are stored and organized based on the year and month they were uploaded in a folder called Uploads in WP Content Directory. WordPress Media Editor also has some lesser known features. One of them being the ability to edit images right from your WordPress admin area. Under the edit screen of your library, there is an option for photo editing that allows you to crop, resize, and scale images right from your WordPress admin area. So, to summarize, in this learning dialogue we have seen WordPress basics. In the upcoming learning dialogues, we are going to explore more about how to use editors in WordPress, managing WordPress comments, how to upload media, manage user uploads, and how to edit photo using WordPress Media Editor. Thank you.